Hello traders, welcome back to Pips Traders YouTube channel. Thank you for your continuous support to my channel. I really appreciate your support. So today in this video, as usual, we are going to be doing daily technical analysis in gold, US dollar, currency pairs. Let us look at the current trend of the price action and mark the current support and resistance levels from the 4 hours time frame to 15 minutes time frame. And when we look at the events plan for Monday, Monday will be October 31st. We have lots of low impact news planned for major currency pairs. So there are no high impact news planned on Monday. Let us begin our gold analysis. I am in 4 hours time frame now. When we look at the current price action in 4 hours time frame, it is still trading below this resistance line from the daily time frame. And whenever the price action touches this resistance line, we have noticed a price action to trend on the BRE side. And since the current price action is still trading below this bearish trend line, the current trend of the price action 4 hours time frame is still in a bearish trend. And looking at the past price action, it has trended on the bearish trend. Again, it took support around the level of 16.15 and bounced back on the bullish side retracement. After testing the resistance line, we have noticed it to again retrace back to the same support level and it didn't manage to break this support level and currently the price action has bounced back again it didn't manage to break this previous resistance zone which is around here so when we look at the overall support and resistance levels from the higher time frame this level of 1615 is acting as a very strong support level on the higher side which is on the bullish side this level of 1675 is acting as a very strong resistance level and we have noticed a price action to be trending below this resistance and support level. And from the past price action we can notice that whenever a trend reversal happens, we have noticed a price action to form a head and shoulder pattern. Here it has formed a head and shoulder pattern and here it has formed a inverse head and shoulder pattern. And when we look at the current price action over here, we can consider that current price action is also trying to form a inverse head and shoulder pattern but it has to break this resistance line in order to complete its inverse head and shoulder pattern and the confirmation of the start of the head and shoulder pattern will come only when the price action breaks a resistance level of 1675 which is the neck level of the head and shoulder pattern and when we closely analyze the price action at this area over here, we can notice that the shadows of this indecision candle, red color candle, has touched the support level of 1638, after which we have noticed a price action to bounce back on the bullish side retracement. But the whole body of the candles have closed above the support level of 1642. So this area between 1642 to 1638 is going to be acting as a very strong support zone and only when the price action breaks this support zone we can expect a further continuation of the bearish trend and next level of support from the 4 hours time frame is going to be around 1615 and if the price action bounces back from this support line next level of resistance from the higher time frame is going to be around 1675 so this zone is going to decide whether the bearish trend is going to continue or a bounce back on the bullish side retracement is going to start from this support zone. So to make it simple, I would recommend you to draw a trend line or support line to understand the current price action. So previously we have noticed a price action to trend on the bullish side from the support level of 1615 and now the price action has broken this trend line or the support line and currently we are noticing the price action to trend on the bearish side. So I would again recommend you to draw a resistance line and as long as the price action is trading below this resistance line from the 4 hours time frame you can continue trading on a bearish side and wait for the price action to break this resistance line if you want to take trades on the bullish side retracement. But when we look at the overall price action in 4 hours time frame, it was on a bearish trend, again went on a bullish trend and currently we are noticing it to trend back on the bearish side. And these are all the strong support 
and this is a very strong resistance and it is in a sideways price action for now. Only when it breaks its strong resistance or strong support we can expect a directional trend to start in 4 hours time frame also. So the values within this red color boxes are the resistance and support levels for current price action in 4 hours time frame and the values in blue color boxes are the very important support levels and the resistance levels. So if the price action bounces back from this support zone between 1642 to 1638 next level of resistance on the bullish side is going to be around 1615, 1659 and 1675 and if the price action breaks the support zone between 1642 to 1638 next level of support is going to be around 1634, 1623 and 1615. So I would recommend you to wait for the price action to break this support zone if you want to continue trading on the BRE side or wait for the price action to bounce back from this support level and to break this resistance line if you want to take trades on the bullish side retracement. Let us do the analysis in hourly time frame. I am in hourly time frame now when we look at the price action in hourly time frame we can notice that previously the price action was in a bullish trend. Again it has found resistance on the 4 hours time frame trend line or the resistance line. Then we have noticed a price action to be trending on a bearish trend. Here previously we have noticed this trend line or support line to be acting as a resistance line on the support line. And currently we have noticed a price action to take support on the previous support line. And when we look at the overall trend of the price action in hourly time frame it is trading within a bearish channel pattern and we are noticing the price action to bounce back on the bullish side retracement from this support line and only when the price action breaks this resistance line we can expect a further continuation of the bullish side retracement in hourly time frame and as long as the price action is trading within this bearish channel pattern we can expect the bearish trend to continue in hourly time frame also. Let us mark the support and resistance levels. So the values within this green color boxes are the resistance and support levels for current price action in hourly time frame. And currently the price action is trading between the 4 hours time frame resistance level of 1650 and support level of 1642. And if the price action breaks the resistance level of 1650, next level of resistance is going to be around 1655, 1659, 1662, 1667 and 1675 and if the price action breaks the support level of 1642 next level of support is going to be around 1638, 1634, 1623 and 1615. Let us mark the support and resistance levels for 30 minutes time frame. I am in 30 minutes time frame. Again in 30 minutes time frame also we are noticing the price action to be trending on a bearish trend. Currently it has taken support on the support zone between 1642 to 1638 and it has also taken support on the bearish channel pattern support line from the hourly time frame and we are noticing a little bit of retracement on the bullish side. Again I would recommend you to draw a trend line or a resistance line for 30 minutes time frame also in order to understand the trend of the price action more clearly. Once the price action breaks this resistance line, it will be the start of the bullish side retracement and next level of resistance from the higher time frame is going to be around 1650. Let us mark the support and resistance levels. So the values within this green color boxes are the resistance and support levels for current price action in 30 minutes time frame and currently the price action is trading between the resistance level of 1645 and support level of 1642 and if the price action breaks the resistance level of 1645 next level of resistance is going to be around 1650, 1653, 1657, 1659, 1662 and 1669 and if the price action breaks the support level of 1642 next level of support is going to be around 1638, 1634 and refer the remaining support levels from the hourly time frame. 
so i would recommend you to wait for the price action to break this bearish channel pattern support line if you want to take trades on the bearish side or wait for the price action to break this resistance line from the 30 minutes time frame if you want to take trades on the bullish side retracement let us mark the support and resistance levels for 15 minutes time frame so the values within this green color boxes are the resistance and support levels for current price action in 15 minutes time frame here we have the higher time frame resistance level also and we have the higher time frame support zone also currently the price action is trading between the resistance level of 1645 and support level of 1642 and if the price action breaks this support level next level of support is going to be around 1639 1636 1633 and if the price action breaks the resistance level of 1645 next level of resistance is going to be around 1649 and 1653 so wait for the price action to break this resistance line from the 30 minutes time frame in order to take trades on the bullish side retracement or wait for the price action to break this trend line or bearish channel pattern support line in order to take trades on the bearish side that's all the analysis for today thank you for watching this video if you have found this video to be useful press that like button and subscribe to get regular video updates